Nyati is doing uh, is, is, a, is, a, is doing gardening around uh, Pretoria East. So for some reason he got a contract uh, of two weeks, and then it's more than forty thousand for that just two weeks. Oh. <laughs> so, and uh, this one is from Brother Jim, the one that opened in prayer. He wrote um, for me uh, during the week. Uh, so I'm just going to read 90% uh, of what he wrote here. Uh, he says, I went for an interview regarding an in internal position as a campus manager to one of our branches in KZN. So this was pending since the month of April. Uh, today, not only I passed the interview, but I went for a campus manager position and came out with a regional general Amen. manager. Amen. Then, then he writes, Abi first delivers us spiritual, then physical blessings follow. Amen. And then he says, more projects are in the title. Amen. So, so Abib is bringing in blessing after blessing. Amen. Amen. And remember, there was another uh, testimony that I gave of Sister Mopule. Um, his sister got a job that was not working, signed a contract with the government, and Sister Mopule was requesting that she can get a promotion at work and call her for an interview, and uh, they did. Amen. Call her for an interview, and she was number one. Yeah. Amen. So, So when you see this blessing, just know that the angel of the Lord is in the name of our prayer. Father, we say thank you this morning for your love, your mercy, and your grace. Thank you, O oh God, for the week that has gone by. Thank you for this resurrection morning that we can come together like this as a band of your people. Father God, here is a prayer request of Brother Ezra that will be writing a psychometric test immediately after the service. Amen. Father God, we are praying a special blessing upon him, Lord, as we'll be sitting writing. Father God, may the angel of the Lord guide him. Yes. It's our prayer, Father. We want to hear a good report when yes. we come back, Father God, on a Sunday, yes. that all went well for the glory of yes. God. Yes. Father God, here it's a prayer request of Sister Sylvia, diagnosed with Sisyx. Father, we want to commit our sister before you. Yes. We know that all these names are just demons. Yes. But Father, we raise our hands as the church of the living Father, God. We want to declare victory over our sister's life. Yes. We know by your stripes our sister is already healed. Yes. She was already healed 2,000 years ago. Yes. We are just, Father God, praying to claim her victory and her healing yes. for the glory of God. We pray for this coming weekend, Lord, the meetings that you are going to have. Hallelujah. Father God, we are praying for the success Hallelujah. of it, O oh God. Amen. Praying for the visitors that will be driving from far and near. May the angel of the Lord guide them safely until they arrive. Yes. Give us a wonderful time in your presence. Amen. We commit all these things we live in. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we say thank you. Amen. 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 God bless you. You might know uh, Sister Leti, which is brother uh, uncle. I mean, uh, brother um, sister is an aunt to brother Luke. So uh, they were blessed with a baby, and uh, she wants to bring the baby for a dedication. So we're just going to read a dedication scripture and allow our sister to bring the baby to the front. Amen. Let's uh, sing, bring them in as our sister comes, amen. Bring Bring them, 
chapter 10, verse 13, the Bible reads, And they brought young children to him, that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased, and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. Amen. Let's bow our heads as we pray. Mighty God in eternal heaven, Father, Father God, we bring the little one before you. Father God, you said, bring the little ones unto me, for of such is the kingdom of God. Yes. Father God, we want to pray for this little one, Lord. May your Holy Spirit overshadow this little boy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray for the food that he will eat, everything that he will drink. May he be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that when he comes to the age of accountability, he can, Father God, decide to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. We commit him before you, the parents before you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Let us turn our Bibles. If you have your Bibles with you, we're going straight to the ministration of the Word. Amen. Praise God. We're going to look into Jude chapter 1, verse 3. Amen. Jude chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. Amen. Just to uh, say something that can encourage us and build our faith. Amen. Amen. And, um, not yet done with uh, the, the seven seal. We'll, we'll do it maybe after the ordination services, but for now, I will just this message in preparation for the weekend meetings. Amen. 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 Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you for the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should endlessly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Amen. For there are certain men creeped in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Mm -hmm. And godly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Luke 17 verse 5 And the apostle said unto the Lord Increase our faith. Amen. Amen. Code number one, the prophet of God says, now to our text for a few minutes now, Jude said to earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. Not a faith, but the faith. Amen. Now every one of us wants to think that our church has that faith. I hope that we all do. But let us examine the scriptures and by the scriptures see if our church is contending for that faith. Amen. And for a title this morning, the custodians of this faith. Lord, let us bow our heads. Amen. Lord, we have read what we believe to be your way. Amen. It takes every healthy man to turn the pages of the Bible. But Lord, we know it takes the Holy Spirit himself to turn the pages of our heart. Lord, we are coming to that secret time again. Where no man can enter, but you alone can do it for us. Lord, I want to decrease that you can increase. Come and speak through me and hear through your children. That at the end of the service, the glory and the honor will come back to you. Give us context out of what we have read this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may take your seats. We want to speak on the custodians of this faith. Now, this morning, by the grace of God, I want us to examine by the scriptures, as Brother Brennan said, and by the message of the hour, and see if our church is contending for the faith that was once delivered. No, I, want, I don't want us to examine any other assembly or any other church, but I want us to examine this assembly. Now, the question will be, how does faith come? 
and brother Ethan, the, the Bible says, Romans chapter 10, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now, let me declare right at the, at the beginning of the service this morning that faith does not come by a loud guitar. Faith does not come by emotions or by a loud organ, but faith cometh by hearing, and hearing the word of God. And we can also conclude that faith is a revelation. Yes. Let me say that no man can give you revelation. Amen. Let me repeat that again. Amen. No mortal man can give another mortal Amen. man revelation. Amen. Let me establish this right at the beginning of the service. There is only one individual that can give revelation. Yes. And Paul clarifies it here in the book of Ephesians, brother Ethan. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. Amen. So, revelation does not come from humanity. Can somebody say amen? amen? Revelation does not come from your pastor. Revelation does not come from a teacher. Revelation does not come from an evangelist. Revelation does not even come from the prophet. But revelation comes from from God. It can come through humanity but revelation comes from God. Jesus in flesh did not give Peter revelation but told him that flesh and blood did not reveal this unto you but my father which is in heaven. That is why today we can say the church is not built upon Peter. The church is not built upon Jesus or any man but the church is built upon the spiritual revelation. Without revelation we don't have foundation because faith is a revelation and faith does not come by emotion but faith comes by the word. If you look in the Bible, it was not Cain and Abel that came together and agreed, last, to, uh, agreed together to say, let's make sacrifices. But it had to be a direct command from the Almighty God. Because the Bible says, by faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. If it was by faith, it means that it came by revelation. Amen. Abel, by faith, caught the solution to the sin problem. Amen. Amen. Let me repeat that again. Lord. Abel by faith caught the solution to the sin problem. Because the sin problem cannot be dealt by person vegetables. Mm. But the solution to the sin problem can only be dealt by the blood. Yes. For without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Amen. So for us to have faith, we need a preacher. Amen. Yes. 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 Now some of you are doubting. Let me repeat that again. For us to have faith, we need a preacher. That is why you cannot sit at home on a Sunday morning and say, you will listen to a tape. That is not God's order. Amen. God's order is that you must not forsake the assembly together. So for you to have faith, you need to come to the house of the Lord. And when I come with the leak of fire, you come with your leak of fire, then the pillar of fire comes down. That's right. So God has ordained to me to handle the gospel. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Now watch Romans chapter 10 verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Yes. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? Amen. And how shall they preach except they be saved? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Now notice, for us to call on the name of the Lord, we must have believed on him. Yes. But how can we believe unless someone preaches? Yes, and how can they preach unless they are saved? So God has got a program and that program that God has is to let you as a believer yes. call on him. Amen. But for you to call on him, you have to believe first. Yes. But for you to believe, there must be a preacher first. Amen. But for the preacher to preach, there must be one that sends the preacher. Amen. So there must be a sender as well. Glory to his name. Amen. Then the prophet of God says, Now it doesn't do no good, as I have said, to go unless you've got something to tell. Mm. And if you've got the wrong message to tell, then it won't do any good. You've got to tell what is the secret. So it doesn't do no good to tell unless you
you've got something to tell. And how can they believe unless someone preaches? And how can they preach unless they are saved? So you have to go with a message. And that message is to go with the telling of the secret. Amen. So we don't just want to know anything, but we want to know what is the secret. Amen. So for us to believe, we need a preacher. Yes. That's why God has to bring faith to us. God has got a foolish program. Mm. Amen. Called the Amen. preaching of the way. Yes. Amen. Let me say that again. God, to bring faith to us, mm. He has got a Amen. foolish yeah. program. Amen. 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 First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. The Bible says, For the preaching of the cross, it is to them that perish. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. So God uses men that men can take ownership of that program. That program might look foolish, but that's how the power of God is demonstrated. So when a minister comes to preach, get ready to receive some power. Amen. It is the power coming to the church, not a pre recorded sermon. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let me say that again. Yes. Not a pre recorded sermon. Yes. We thank God for 1,100 messages that were stored in our generation. Yes. Yes. But you see, when you come to church, you have got needs that are in the season of 2022. Yes. 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 Those needs don't need a pre recorded sermon, yes. they need yes. a preacher to go and study. And once he is here, then the Holy Ghost comes and anoints him. And then, because you have got a need, while you are saying amen, you move the preacher out of your nose to a A pre-recorded self cannot do that. So it is power. The preaching of the gospel, it is power. It is power that breaks every fetter. It is power that breaks the hole. It is power that breaks the chains. Amen. The yoke of Satan can be broken when the gospel is preached Amen. in power and demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. The Bible says, And it shall come to pass in that day that this his burden shall be taken away from thy shoulders. And his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Amen. So the Bible says, it shall come to pass in that day, brother Theo. Mm. Let me ask you which day. Mm. I believe it is this day. Yes. That the yoke, the bed, shall be lifted up from off your shoulders because of the anointing. Amen. And I believe this morning, burdens are going to be lifted up. Amen. Amen. This morning, yokes are going to be broken. I believe this morning, somebody can live here free. Amen. glory to his name. Who says I'm under great expectation? Let me tell you, church, expectation is a pretty ground for the miracles. Expectation is the function of the level of your revelation. And the Lord is here this morning to roll your burdens. To roll your burdens. Let me say, believers, I believe when we come like this, something supernatural yes. can take place. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. How many believe that this morning? Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Somebody is going to walk here free. Amen. Amen. Somebody is going to walk here free. Somebody can live this city blessed. Amen. Somebody can live here free. By the grace of God. And the Bible says, And blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance of those things which are told of her from the Lord. The Bible says, Blessed is she that believeth. Now let me ask you, who is a she? It is the bride. Brothers, today, all of us are going to this place. You are a she. And if you believe, there shall be performance. Somebody is asking how is it going to happen? Let me say the whole question is not your responsibility. Yeah. 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 The 
who says it's my season? Who says it's my hour? Who says it's my time? Tell me it's me, oh Lord. Strike me in the need of prayer. Like situation this morning. Who is going to this day tomorrow? And she brought the baby to the meeting to show and broke the strings that was left on the handkerchief and had the baby's picture before and when where it was then. How the little baby stood was slumped in like that. A little baby about eight or ten months old. And there was the little baby's food just as normal as any other. The sister, brother Alpha, believe that there will be a performance. Come on, Amen. Amen. When the food was clapped and cooked, you know what happened, Sister Grace? The sister started taking pictures. Yes. yes. To say, when my performance comes, I went to show them. Not speaking in tongues. Not having 
in our church, but by hearing God's word. So for us to receive a blessing when the way is preached in his spirit, not when we see a milk. Because in the beginning was not the miracle. Yes. But in the beginning was the word. Yes. But when the word is preached, the miracle must fall. Yes. 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 And the says, the word can defeat Satan anytime. Amen. Anywhere. Under any condition. Yes. But when we come to church, we feed upon the word. Yes. Because the Bible says, where the carcass is, that's where the eagles get. Yes. And the eagles don't get over confusion. No, sir. The eagles don't get over politics. The eagles are not there to throw stones. Because we are not terrorists. But the eagles, when they gather, they gather for the first kill. For the purity of the world. Here is my favorite quote of our church. Here, a few days ago, I was going out to preach there on a Sunday. Last week it was. They brought a little girl there on a stretcher. And they called me in the night time on the road and said the girl cannot leave. The cancer was so bad. Sister Sylvia put your name in there. Amen. And about 17 years old, she can't even get there. She is going to die before she gets there. It was a beautiful case. A lovely little child of 17 years old. Now, listen to what Brother Ben says. To prove something to my child. Yes. So, Brother Brenham is doing this with the intention to prove something. Yes. Listen to what he says. He says, I never touched the child at all. I never as much as touched it. I walked in, lay on a stretcher because there were other sick people. But I was concerned about the child to catch a spirit. When I spoke to her, she seemed like a fine little girl. I see no reason why the child should feel a premature grave. That has to be the devil trying to take a life. So I never touched the child at all. I went to the pulpit with the word and stayed right with the word. And the word killed her instantly until she got up and walked away. It's all right now. Living like anybody else. Can't find a chance of it anywhere. Never even touched. The way, oh, the next one. See, the way went forth. And she believed the way. And the way is God's love and God's power. The way does it. The way heals the sick. So when the way is preaching is doing it, the sick cannot stay sick anymore. Why should I go another hour? Yeah. 
Mm. Brenham got so excited and started telling other ministers. Mm. And it caused a lot of canon impersonation. Yes. Yes. Until Oral Roberts did no. not do it on the left hand, mm. but Oral Roberts did it on the right hand. No. And he got the same result. No. But by the preaching of the way, the sickness can disappear Amen. without Amen. the laying Amen. of hands. Amen. Now let's watch what happens today with the second pool. And remember the second pool is discernment or prophesy. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. This is given to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow. And is a discerner. What is the discerner? The way. Not me coming here and say, I see somebody with a headache here. No, the way. Come on, brother. As I'm preaching here, the way is dealing with everyone. Hey. 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 That's why you can come to church without the preacher knowing your problem. Mm. Sometimes we're even talking in your car coming to church. Mm. And when the preacher comes here, he goes straight mm. to exactly what you're talking about. Hey. Because the way is the desire. And the intent Amen. of the heart. Amen. So then the word gets preached and your problem gets solved. Amen. Hallelujah. It's as easy as that. Yes. The word can address any situation. Yes. The word can deal with so many problems. Amen. The word can deal with depression. Amen. Amen. You don't need a psychiatrist to read the word. And that way when it's preached. Mm. Demonstrations mm. must follow. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read a couple of scriptures, brother. If you go with me, First Corinthians chapter four, verse twenty. For the kingdom of God is not in way, but in First Corinthians chapter six, verse fourteen. And God has both raised up the law, and also will raise us up by His own power. First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse forty-two and forty-three. So also is the resurrection of the day. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in corruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. For we are also weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God towards you. Yes. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Now unto him that is ex to do exceedingly, abundantly, above that what we may ask for think, according to the power that worketh in us. First Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5. For our gospel came not unto you in way only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost and in much assurance, as ye know what manner of men were among you for your sake. The gospel is in way, but also in power. Then the prophet of God says, but after all, passing track is not preaching the gospel. The gospel came not in word only. Amen. And said Paul, but through power and demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Not just teach the way, but preach, make manifest. Yes, that's right. That's right. The written way. Made, the way has to be made live. It's a dead letter until it's made manifest. And then it's written and it's brought to power. That's what God said about it. That's the gospel in action. The New Testament Christian. So the gospel is not handing out tricks. The gospel is not handing out spoken words at the street corners. That's part of it. But the gospel is manifesting the written way. Let me say that. The hour for the message to have an impact in Pretoria has arrived. Amen. 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 And I, I heard what I'm saying. Yes. And I'm saying the hour for the message of the hour to have an impact in our area Amen. has arrived. Amen. God is raising a standard yes. of a flood coming into the message. Amen. But we know when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will raise a standard. Amen. Let me go to the scripture that I read. Jude chapter 1 verse 3. 
Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Amen. Verse 4. For there are certain men creeped in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation and godly men taking the grace of our Lord God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord of God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Let me say, regardless of all the lasciviousness coming into our message, taking the grace of God down, we will stand with this message. We have a message to stand for. We have a gospel to stand for. But what? The prophet had a desire that this message must continue in its original way. The prophet says, I like this quote. What if I had a group of men, young men, trained in the message to see, now wait a minute, before I leave here, we are going to set in order these churches. I'll have a man, I've already telegrammed them, they've got the money, they're on their road here right now to take over this, a good man. There is two or three young men with him who will be his helpers and assistants. Now, uh, if and a church of this faith. Yeah. Not a church of another faith. No. But a church of this faith no. can be said there, which will be an outpost in India, outpost in Germany, outpost in Switzerland. What? Right now, we should have helped all of them around the nations where I have been. And the message there, for there comes another, from another comes another. See what I mean? So the prophet had a desire that this message could go around the world and have an outpost in Germany, an outpost in India, an outpost in Switzerland, an outpost in Pretoria. Amen. And let me say, we are fulfilling this quotation this morning. We are right in the desire of the prophet because we are having an outpost of this faith in Pretoria. Somebody say this faith. Yes. And this morning I'm not preaching any message, but I'm preaching a message of this faith. Yes. And we are the outpost of this faith. Amen. Church, let us not waver Amen. from this faith. Amen. Church, let us not compromise yes. from this faith. Yes. Church, let us not be shifted from this faith. Yes. Original sin ministries, hear me and hear me well. Never be moved from this faith. And I pray that this ordination coming in next week, it will be an ordination of this faith. Church, let me say to you, God is depending on you to be the custodian of this faith. And the prophet God says, Oh, you Bethlehem dwellers, can I change it? Yes. All you Pretoria dwellers, I call for me warriors. Hey, church, come on. I want warriors. As we're going to a holy nation, I want warriors. Who's not afraid? I don't care if there's 800 standing on one side and 10,000 on another side. I want warriors who will come with me and cut a hole through this life. I want warriors in original ministry. Church, let us stand for this message. Let us stand for the purity of this message. Let us not mix this message with our ideas. But we want mighty, gentle warriors. You are a warrior. You are a warrior. I like it in short, they say, Iwe will come. You are the mighty gentle one. And then the Lord says, Oh men of God, where is that sword? Where is the sword? The way. Our Lord desires a fresh drink. I don't care if it's life or death. 
Okay, let's come through this thing. It's so hard standing by yourself. Church, even if I'm the pastor of this church, I cannot stand by myself. I'm calling for men to stand by me. I'm calling for women to stand by me. Let us stand with that way. What that word says, do it just the way the word says. Let me say, God will always have someone to stand for this place. Amen. I don't care how many leaves, but God will have someone to stand for this message. And let me say, we will not leave this message because we are the message. We will not leave the message because we are the message. Inside of you, they are called you know, they are called you will never know, they are called you don't know. I don't care how many devils come against our message, they are predestinated will always stand with that message. Yes. The message is always has its own people. Yes. There will always be somebody who will be a true disciple of man careful. Because there are very many other messages says we are born with the equipment to detect the voice of man careful. He says Moses was born with the equipment. You know what I call it? A, 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 an area that connect to the system on the other side. Yeah. Because Brother Bram says, when you have this message in the message, God was reaching message. He says, when you have this message to be healed of food, you have from your theophany. Yeah. So there must be an area in you. Brother Bram calls it an equipment to detect the voice of Malachi 4. When they hear that message, they say, I feel my name is being called. Amen. I feel that this message is for me. I feel this is my hour. I feel this is my opportunity. This is my message. I believe those people are here this morning. Let's continue with this message in its purity. And let's defend this message. As we defend it, the God of this message will back up and speak for us. That reminds me of Sister Weber. Sister Weber stood for this message when things seemed Mm. that she would say no mm. to the message. Mm. Mm. But she never denied Malachi. Oh, she stood with what she knew. Yeah. And the prophet of God says, Brother Eve, and two days after that, or three days, there were some ladies from the government, they were there, where she went to come in, and she, she had grace. Mrs. Weber said, if I only have Brother Bill to pray for me once more, she said, I have I seen when my cousin Opal was healed, with that cancer. And the doctor just gave her till morning to leave. And her daughters and nurse also said the girls from out at the government where she worked with her said they ate nothing to that guy. Referring to who? To Brother Brian. He ate nothing but a hypocrite. That's all that religion is. Just a bunch of fake fanaticism. Go to the next one. And so Miss Weber said, Look, I am dying. And I know that. But I just want to stand still for that. I like that. I know better than that. She said, I have been lived right here around the city, around that man all the time. I have seen him from a child grow up. She said, You can call it fake if you want to. But I've seen it just so much and seen God heal the people. She said, and I know the man's life and I know it's the truth. Amen. Then he continues to say, and he happened to be the angel of the Lord. Lord. Yes. And that very night, sitting on the side of the wheelchair in the room, after I got up and went and got a drink of water about three o'clock in the morning, and searching on a chair and seeing him come walking through the door, he said, tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday, Sunday. Yes. That they are going to pick Miss Weber up and bring her down. She will be sitting right on the right hand side, far back in the tabernacle, saying, I heard her. Tell her, I heard her, what she said. And tell her, thus says the Lord, she will live and not die. Let me say to this church, without unwavering faith, the angel of the Lord will hear us. Yes. When we stand with this message, the angel of the Lord will hear us when we protect the protections Sunday after Sunday. The angel of the Lord will hear us. 
and when he hears, he will say, go tell them in Pretoria. Amen. I have heard them. Yeah. They will not die, yeah. but they will live to see the coming of the Lord. Yeah. Go tell them, they will not remain poor, yeah. because he raises the poor out of the dust of the head. Yeah. Tell them, I have heard them, they will not remain sick anymore. Yeah. They will not remain weak, but they will be strong. Yeah. And let me say, when yes. this faith is preached, it will produce the same result. Right. Yes. Let me say that again. When this faith yes. is preached, yes. it will produce the same result. Yes. 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 He says, I was talking to my mom. Mm. And I said, Mama, I realized that there are 900 Jew nations. Mm. And I wondered which one yeah. is the truth. Mm. But he said, Mama, this is what I did. I went into the Bible. Mm. And he said, Mama, I read where they baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. I went in the Bible and read where they preach the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I preached the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I did exactly what they did in the Bible. And he said, Mama, I got the same result. And I want to say to this church, we will get the same result.
The angel of the Lord said, Don't worry, I'll be your GPS. Amen. Amen. He says, Leave the hotel. Yeah. And Brother Bram left the hotel. And Brother Bram says it was three months from where the hotel was to where Auntie Jabana was. And Brother Bram says, I walked singing the songs of Zion alone. And the Holy Ghost said, Be it, turn right, turn left. And the roundabout take the second exit. The Holy Ghost became the GPS to Brother Bram. Until when the Holy Ghost said, No, destination arrived. So, Auntie Jaman. Hallelujah. And Auntie Jaman was said to Brother Bram, Good morning, Pastor. And Amen. Brother Bram said, How did you know that I was a pastor? Yes. He says, I was praying. Yes. I, not the preacher. The Shunamite woman in the Bible. Yes, sir. And Brother Bram says, Yes, I know the Shunamite. He says, The one that you know is written, but there is another one standing in front of you. There is another one that stepped out of the pages of the Bible. So, listen, I am the, I am the Shunamite woman. My boy is dying. You must be a writer. Let's get into business. We must lead the way yes. until the way comes out Hallelujah. and become a reality. Yes. I am so glad Amen. to read about a congressman I'm sure. But I went to see another congressman I'm sure. Walking in church with a wheelchair and going home free. Amen. I am so glad to read about a Florence Nightingale who had got cancer. But I want to see another Florence Nightingale. Amen. When we preach this faith, we must get the same result. I, I, I jumped yes, during the week yes, brother. because I used to read it but I went and read yes. it again brother, brother Peregrine mm. said when that girl with that was born blind mm. only had socket yes, yes. Yes. brother Brennan says I asked everybody to close their eyes yes. Peregrine said I don't want to close my eyes Yes. I want to see what's going to happen yes. Yes. Oh, no. Peregrine said I didn't close my eyes yes. and he says Brother Bram started to have a conversation yes. with his girl. Yeah. Oh, yes. He says, Lady, you are blind. Mm. He says, Yes. Then he says, Do you want to see? Mm. Then she says, Yes, I want to see. Mm. And Brother Bram says, What color of eyes oh, yeah. do you want? Mm. And Perry Green says, Today I want to see. Amen. Yeah. And do you know what yeah. Brother Perry Green says? Mm. Brother Perry Green said, When he said, I want blue eyes. Yeah. Brother Peregrine says, everybody in the audience, their eyes, Brother Alpha, were closed. Mm. And Peregrine says, I saw a two set of eyes running from heaven. Hallelujah. And they were coming. And they went straight into the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you, church. Let me ask you, this morning, you can see. Let me ask you, what color of house do you want? Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.
was blind. Amen. But John Ryan, there was a time Amen. when John Ryan was able to declare that you can see. Amen. And Brother Ezra John Ryan said, but how am I going to see? Mm. Hey, I like this one. Mm. And John Ryan came to the meetings the next day, Brother Sean. Yes, and John Ryan sat at the back. Mm. And after the service, when the prayer line was going on, John Ryan came back again to the prayer line. Mm. And Brother Branham said, John Ryan, what do you want? Yeah. Yeah. He says, no. Billy, you prayed for me yesterday and you said, I can see, but I'm still blind. Mm. He says, that's your problem. Go rejoicing. Yes. 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 Start praising God yes. about your healing Amen. that is not yet there. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 And John Ryan came to the next meeting the next day. Mm. And Brother Brennan was preaching. When everybody was saying amen, mm. John Ryan stood up mm. and said, shut up. This is my time. Amen. Praise God, I can see. Yes. And John Ryan was still blind. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And John Ryan was still blind. Amen. Came to the next day, the other time. Everybody was saying, Amen. Brother John Ryan stopped the audience mm. and said, All of you shut up. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I can see. Yeah. 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 The next day, it was Monday, Brother Ezra. He was selling newspapers. Mm. And when he was at the road, he was saying, Extra, extra, I can see. Amen. Extra, extra, I can see. Yes. Extra, extra, I can see. Yes. And one day he went to the power shop. And the power was busy. Hallelujah. Cutting his hair. Yes. Not a mohawk. Mm. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. Not some funny yeah. hairstyle. Yeah. And then he says, I hear that this Billy preacher says that you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then he says, Yes. Yes. Amen. I can see. I am. And his eyes popped open. Yeah. Amen. And John Ryan jumped up and started turning the streets. Amen. And the power started turning off. Amen. John Ryan. Amen. Was, there were some cooks and some scissors left on the head of John Ryan. Amen. Let me tell you, whatever that you wrote now, go home and start testing fire. John Shine, son, right? To say when this preacher comes and finish preaching, hand him the keys of your house and give him the house. That's true. Mm. And Brother Brennan says, John Shalit had a good wife. Hallelujah. That made it easy for him. Yes. Because otherwise, you might say you want to give a house. Mm. Then your wife right. starts crying. Yes. Yes. And Brother Brennan says, he had a good wife. Mm. Yes. That made it easy yes. for John for John Shire. Mm. Sisters make it easy yes. for your husband. Amen. And John Shire left the house. Yes. Gave the house and he had nowhere to sleep. Mm. Now I want to show you something. He had no place not to sleep at. Yes. Until one day when he was like around the streets. There came another lady mm -hmm. and saw John Charity and said, God bless you. Why are you doing here? 
And he says, I don't have a place to stay. Mm. And the woman said, can you come to my garage? Mm. We'll stay in my garage, but the way you're going to pay rent, you must dress my garden. Mm. So you do the garden, and then you stay in my garage. Mm. That was the deal. Mm. So John Charlotte will do the garden, and later in the afternoon, Eliza, he says, John Charlotte will sit somewhere in the corner. Amen. And read the Bible. Glory, Lord. And this woman, the landlord, was watching John Shite yes. every day. Said, yes. What is in that book yes. that that man is reading? Mm. And one day the woman went to see what book is he. He found mm. that that was the Bible. Mm. And the woman said, I'm going to buy the Bible. Yes. That woman went and bought the Bible, came back, started reading the Bible. The very God. That told John Shari to give a house to a preacher. Amen. Talked to this woman. Amen. Amen. And said to this woman, Go give John Shari a check of 10,000 US dollars. And this woman signed a check and gave it to John Shari. And John Shari said, What must I do with this money? Brother Bram says John Shari was so shocked because he was the first time seeing such amount of money. I'm talking about the issue, Brother Ezra, of the 50s. Yes. 10,000 years dollars was a lot of money. Yes. Yes. And then he says, what must I do? Then the woman said, the God that told me, go ask him. Yeah. What you must do with that 10,000 years dollars? Yeah. And the woman, Brother John Shannon, went and asked the Lord. Yeah. Lord, what must I do yes. with this 10,000 US dollars? Mm. You see, church, if you consult God in everything, yeah. listen to what the Lord says. Yeah. He says, He consulted. Yes. And then He says, God told John Shannon, go start a business. Yeah. And then God is straightforward. Yes. He did not just say a business. Mm. He says, John Shannon, start a business, a property business. Yeah. Go and buy a property. Renovate it and sell it. Yes. And John shot it. Brother Bram says the other thing that he did not have after his marriage, he did not have a child. So Brother Bram says everything negative was around this man called John Shard. Yes. But now John Shard started a business property. Yes. Amen. Buy this house, sell it, buy this house. Until Brother Bram says John Shard now pays four million US dollars. Per annum of time. In, in the 50s, 4 million US dollars per, per, per annum. How much was this man earning a month? And he says, God blessed him so much, Brother Ezra, that he had a lot of children. Until Brother Bram says, when he am narrating the story of John Sharit. Brother John Shari just rushed to the hospital because his wife is being put to bed, having the sixth baby. Okay. Until Brother John Shari is asking the Lord to stop. <laughs> but let me tell you, how did the blessing come? In sowing. Yes. Because when you sow, you reap how would you feel? And he did not have another one. Yes. And there are people. I went to Zimbabwe in Bay to preach a convention. I saw people walking 25 kilometers to church. Yes. Yet some of you have got cars. You miss service like nobody's business. That's why you don't get blessed. Amen. Amen. So where it is necessary. Some of you are saying, let's pledge. You have the money, but you are withdrawn. Say it anyhow. That's why you never get it. Mm. Then you are getting surprised about other believers that are getting blessed. Mm. Those that so it's a it's a principle. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Remember, whatever you believe, yes. it 
Shout give us a hand. This is not saying let there be a spirit. Amen. What am I going to do with the spirit? Amen. I don't need a spirit. The other brethren needed a spirit. I, I, I don't need a spirit. I've got heart's desire. I want Sister Sylvia to be here. The spoken word says and what the tape says, what the preacher is saying, we must reap the benefits of it. We must reap the benefits. David says, Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And you must not negotiate when it comes to your benefit. Yes. You must not negotiate. The Bible says, From the days of John the Baptist until now. The kingdom of heaven suffer and violence. And the violent, they take you by force. I am looking for a believer this morning that has got no time to negotiate. I want someone who is violent. Do I have violent believers this morning? Don't sit back. Be violent with what you're standing for. Be violent with what you do. Be violent with what you want to possess. This is not something as usual. This is the first day of your life. And 
one day this message will change our bodies. Yes. Yes. From water Amen. to immortality. Amen. One day, Sister Grace says, Sister comes to the platform. And this sister was buried. And Brother Graham says to this sister, Sister, the same is the Lord. Go back home and you shall have a son. The sister went back home, Sister Sharon. But the next day, when she went home, she started to narrate the story to the relatives. And said, that being preacher told me that I'm going to have a son. And they said, the, the relatives and the neighbors and colleagues and friends made mockery of that statement. And then the sister came back to the platform. And Brother Graham says, what do you want? Hallelujah! And the sister said, you prayed for me. I went back home and told my relatives that I'm going to have a son. They made a mockery of that statement. And Brother Brennan looked to the sister and sister said, he said, sister, it does not depend upon you anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It depends upon the same as the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, church, yeah. you are going into the Lord. Yeah. It does not depend upon what they say. Yeah.
God God who has spoken to my heart. How many can say God indeed who has spoken to my heart? Let's close our eyes and raise our hands. Let the church say.
qui est comme étoile l'auteur de la parole de l'heure. C'est puissant message, mon Dieu, mon roi. Nous avons dit Dieu, Père Céleste. Nous te disons merci, Seigneur Jésus. Oh, divers sauveur, pour l'amour que tu as manifesté avec le Seigneur Jésus. Oh, puissant sauveur. En nous envoyant, Seigneur, ce puissant message, mon Dieu, mon roi. Oh, divers sauveur. C'est un message, mon Dieu, mon roi, qui a la solution au problème de l'heure. Oh Seigneur, tu es tout puissant. Tu as parlé, Seigneur. Nous t'avons écouté, Seigneur Jésus. Oh, tu es tout puissant. Nous allons pas Dieu, Père Céleste. Mais tu es dans nos Seigneur Jésus. Des sorties de l'histoire, Seigneur. Tout ce que nous avons parlé, mon Dieu, mon roi. Des premiers signes de miracles, mon Dieu, mon roi. Que tu as accompli, Seigneur. Dans le ministère du prophète, on au Seigneur Jésus. Nous voulons, Seigneur Jésus. Que toi, Seigneur Jésus.
say much. Uh, I just want to say that uh, we trust in God to have uh, the success of this weekend. And, and I want to say that, um, as I said in the morning, there was a right there maybe on Friday, those that can, just to make sure that everything is well set up. And then on Saturday, there was be the earliest to arrive at the venue. And then I want to say that let's work together. Let's not work against one another. But let's work together. And I know as, as mortals, when we work, sometimes we step on one another's toes. But, you know, don't fight your brother, don't fight your sister. Let's just work together. Somebody might say something without meaning it. Just take it with a pinch of salt. I always say this, that when somebody throws a dead at you, don't rub it off. Let it dry, let it dry to follow its own. So don't fight your brother, let's work together. And I trust that God will be our portion. Amen. As we work together as a team, the Holy Spirit comes Amen. with everything that we have. So I believe that right now everybody knows their position. Uh, Brother Alex knows that he's in the Department of Parking. Brother Sanetti knows that he must facilitate the cleaning. Uh, Brother Jethro knows that uh, if there's any brother or two to be picked up from the airport, uh, he will be available. Uh, the sisters know, I think, in the times of uh, teaching and so on and the decoration. Uh, 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 Philip will help us in getting the grocery. So, but let us let us help one another. Praise the name of the Lord. And then I believe that God is going to uh, take care of us. How many love the Lord? Amen. Amen. And how many are under great expectation for the weekend? Amen. May the Lord which will bless you. We love Amen. the Lord with the love of the Lord until we meet again on uh, Saturday, on Friday, rather. May the Lord richly richly bless you. Let us continue pray. Amen. We want to see. The manifestation in our place. God bless you. Amen. Brother Philip, you can come to this visit. The believers.